Hi, I'm Scott with Starkey Family, fixing and rigging up. And today, while I couldn't show the loading of the container on my uh, flatbed trailer behind me, I am going to show you how to actually lock down a 40-foot uh, container on a 48-foot uh, flatbed trailer. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. And let's get this video rolling. Thank you. Okay, first off, you're going to need four chains and four binders for this. So... Go ahead and get your chains out, lay them across on your trailer, two on the front, two in the back. Now what you're going to do is, you're going to take the hook and you're going to run it through this hole, out this hole, come down to two different points, as you can see, and actually lock it back into the chain itself. Okay, so you've got to keep in mind that you're going to be throwing your chain across to the other side of the trailer. So make sure when you're routing your chains, you come in from the front, come out the side, go down through the rub rail, and back around. Now, if the container was slid back a little bit, it's actually more simpler to go through two of these round posts than it is how I actually have it but that's the way it was set on the trailer. So it'll be fine, but go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the chain across, and then I'm gonna latch it on the opposite side. Okay, from the other side, you're gonna take the chain, and as you see, I'm taking it around two round posts up front, just a little bit above where the container is. You're gonna wrap the chain around, hook it back into itself, and then right in this area, we're going to put a uh, snap binder. Okay, with the snap binder connected on the chain. We're going to snap it. Now that we have that one taken care of, we're going to take the second chain we're gonna do the same thing. You run it in through the front, come out the side, go around the first post, second post, lock it into itself, and now we're gonna take the chain and throw it across to the other side. And then we're gonna lock it in place, just like we did right up here on the front. So essentially, we are gonna be crisscrossing the chains. Okay, with the second chain in place, wrapped back and hooked into itself, now we can take the snap binder and hook it up right about here. Okay, now we're gonna take the snap binder, pull it in. Okay, so what we're doing is we're doing a crisscross on the front, a three-point hook on each corner. So now let's go ahead and uh, go to the back. Okay, same thing applies on the back. You'll go in through the hole in the back, out the side, go around the first spool here, up the second one, lock the chain back in, and then we're going to take the chain and throw it across to the other side of the trailer. Okay, on this side here, I just went ahead and hooked it up so I could show you on this. Since we're towards the back of the trailer, normally I would have to use these two spools right here, okay? Well, since I'm gonna have to decade one chain for one of these spools each, the only other option is to run a chain down, right? Come out here and then bring it back up and lock it from the inside. Well, since I'm not a fan on aluminum trailers of taking the hook and locking them down onto the square posts, I have, but I'm not a fan of it. If there's another way, then I will. Because these can actually rip off doing that because of the hooks. Some of these cutting edges, they'll crack down through. So anyways, I just don't like doing that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a J hook and then we're just simply gonna take the chain, wrap it around the J-hook, back into itself, and then we have the snap binder. So let's go ahead and snap the snap binder. Okay, 
so the same thing applied on this side basically i just took my chain went through the back out the side came around the spool underneath back up the next spool locked the chain back inside of itself and threw the chain across so now we're going to go ahead and uh, lock that other chain on the opposite side okay, so i've got the chain thrown across i've got snap binder snapped so basically all you're doing is on the front of the trailer and the back is you're going to make an x pattern that'll keep the container from sliding forward or backward and side to side and as you see the container fits perfectly on the trailer because the trailer is actually wider than what the container is so now the next thing is we're going to throw some straps over top of it okay i put all the straps where i would like to have them at and now i'm just going to go through and throw the straps over top of the container okay so i've got all the straps thrown over Now to lock them on the other side. Okay, I've got all the straps locked underneath the rub rail. So all I need to do now is just go on the other side and tighten it all up. Okay, I've got all the ratchet straps tightened down. So before I move on, <clears throat> I wanna make sure that I tell you on your binders, since they're so close to the deck of the floor, you can't really wrap them with the chains. So just use a bungee wrap around it the arm of it that way there's no way it can come undone if for some reason a chain would end up coming loose or anything like that you'll still have support there to hold it together make sure you do that on all four corners okay so now is the time to go around and do the walk around make sure everything is taken care of i'm gonna check your straps make sure you get some music out of them make sure you're not going to have any chains that are going to fall down around your tires or anything like that so make sure you got them put up real good okay we're done okay this is what the container is actually going to look like when you're going down the road but i wanted to actually explain one thing on here you may have saw through the video that there was a gap on the back of the container and on the front of the container well this container is actually high enough if you can tell it's higher than my truck if i use four by fours underneath of it it could possibly place me too high so that's fine there's nothing wrong with this you just have to understand that a container is flat <clears throat> a flatbed trailer has an arch in the center of it so what that means is the more weight you put on the trailer the arch goes down and flattens the trailer out now in this particular case the container does not weigh enough to flatten the trailer out which that's fine that's why we have the straps over top of the container to help stabilize it from bouncing on the end to end and we've got the chains up front and on the back to keep the container from sliding forward backwards or side to side i'm scott with starkey family fixing and rigging up i hope you've enjoyed the video i hope you've learned something if you haven't already go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and please watch the rest of my videos and also, I have another uh, YouTube channel called Starkey Family Gaming and Fun. Check that out if you're a gamer. Have a good one. Bye.